All right, this is the perfect shot. It looks like uh, I'm hoarding <laughs> in my garage. Um, yeah, pretty messy. But I basically, uh, so I finally got, I mean, this process has been taking forever, probably because work and how critical I am of like doing stuff the right way the first time. Um, so this process has been taking a while. Uh, it was supposed to be done by the new year. New year is here, a couple of days in already, still not done. Um, but basically, as you can see, I got all those drawers and stuff all um, unboxed and stuff. Uh, and basically what I did, um, I got the cabinets and everything bolted up. So this is one unit and I, I really don't have enough space to like step back. Let's see if I can find some room over here. All right, trying to like not twist an ankle. So, um, yeah, I got all of this stuff bolted up. Um, it was fairly easy. Uh, something that Harbor Freight doesn't do is they don't provide you, they provide you bolts to bolt, you know, one end locker into the main box um, and to bolt the, you know, upper um, cabinets in place. But what they don't do is provide additional bolts for these. And I'll briefly show you. Um, and so far it has worked out well. It was a little bit, um, I had to like dig in my uh, bolt box here. Actually got some extra bolts and stuff there cause I just used the ones I had. Um, but bolted it all together. That side over there had a slight gap, but eventually kind of tightened up. And I might be able to tighten it up slightly. It has a little bit of gap, but it's not even noticeable if you don't go up to it. Um, the doors on this side, they open. Um, so they're a right swing. So I, I just pretty much switched the doors. So those will open up that way over there, and then these will open up this way. Um, so I had to move these two. This one is catching at the bottom. Um, so I pretty much, I'm just gonna undo the screws, all of them, lift it up slightly. Um, and then hopefully tighten it up and then the door won't like drop at the bottom there. So it's, it's touching. So that's the only thing I got to fix there. As you can see, all the slides are, all the drawers are out minus like a couple, like I didn't take out the bottom one because it's a power one and it's connected. Actually, it's a smaller one that's powered, but that has two slides, but all the drawers are empty except for that one. And then the miscellaneous stuff in there, everything else is off. I mean, I got my little RC car up there, but with the exception of a couple stuff in there, all the drawers are, are pretty much empty. Um, and I'll get to talking about that here shortly. So this top box, whatever, it literally just bolts into place. Like you can see a bolt right there. Um, you might be able to see the head of one back there, um, but it's pretty much four bolts that holds it in place. There's yeah, right there. Um, and they just have the nut already in place. I don't know what you call that, but you just kind of screw it up there um, and tighten it up. So this one, you gotta close the, the the door slightly, the hutch door and get it. And then the ones in the back, you can just reach up behind there. Actually, yeah, I forgot how I got those in, but it wasn't that hard actually. Um, if you've never installed one of these hutches, it gives you a template. You put the templates on the, the edge of the, the box, you know, strike the, mark it and then you drill and you put it on there um, as far as this hutch but obviously you need a stainless steel top in order to get the work center um, to go so work center goes on and the work center is held in place by you can actually see one I'm gonna twist this camera there we go that's the how the work center is held in place um, I thought it was held in place by four but I could be wrong. Um, I thought it was held in place in four places, but it looks like it's just a... Uh... Huh, interesting. I thought it was held in place in... Pl okay. So I see one more. So, yeah, there's one. 
there's one right there. And then, like I said, over there. Oh yeah, so yeah, the next one is gonna be up under this, up under this box, which is just paperwork. So, yep, I can feel it up under here. Those um, wing nuts. That's pretty much how this thing, this um, this uh, stainless steel top is held in place. So you got to remove the upper drawers, like this one, and then this big one up top, <clears throat> to get it all in there. And then you do the template on top of the stainless steel, which is pretty self-explanatory. Get this on there, and you just kind of bolt these into place for in four places. And like I said, this goes on, and then you just kind of line up the screws right there. There's one, <clears throat> and get it in place. <clears throat> Same thing for these lockers for the upper the upper portion. They just same concept. There's one right there. One right here, and if you're gonna span, obviously it's gonna it's gonna span. So <clears throat> you're gonna have two more on this side. There's one, and there's two. So four total. There's you don't have to crank them down. It's just vertical. Um, I did put all the slides in here, so eventually I'll do a video and show you how all the different. Um, slide out drawers are going to be configured basically the four standard ones are down there and then it looks like i have three in here there's three in there um and they're basically going to match on the same side and then i got four on the bottom then i got four staggered up top um so that's how that's going to work as far as this bolt in together um basically where you see these little holes right here um there's a basically how it bolts in and when you're bolting directly to the main box it's actually it actually has like a threaded um it's like threaded in there so it just bolts in um so it does that up there down here basically inside the box here inside of the locker it has four places that it bolts in to the to the main box and then beneath it you can't really see it but Let's see, there's one spot. So you can see that bolt right there. There's two spots. So there's one further in the back, you can see it. And it just bolts into place. So in theory, each locker has um, six bolts that you have to catch. So those are pretty straightforward. The part that's not straightforward is when you get to, you add an X locker to it, then you have pretty much the same holes. You have four of them, you got one, two, three, four, and then at the bottom where the lockers meet side to side, at the bottom you're gonna have, you're gonna have the same situation down there. See if I, there you go. So you got one there and one above that caster, but those don't have a threaded anything. So you just have to get a, a bolt and a nut um, and get them in there. So there we go. So all I had was these flathead pan heads um, and it worked so you just gotta be mindful that they'll provide you bolts but it doesn't you don't have a nut when it comes to fitting two lockers together because you don't have it's not it doesn't have a threaded insert for you to like tighten it on um here's a little gap that's left there we go but you can see at the bottom there's like there's no gap so that's the only um only thing that's left to do there and I'll probably tighten it up a little bit all the key sets all they, they all match um, so why did I on take out everything and make this place even more messy well uh, my box let's see if I can get up here my box was leaning um, Oh, and by the way, before I talk about that, so all the wheels are lock-in swivel casters. So it has 12 wheels total. Um, you got three over here. You basically got one, one on each cabinet. So one on each cabinet, two on the main box, and then again over there. So a total of six, 12 total wheels. Um, and I basically got them all. My buddy was here. 
and we basically use my my three jacks my little craftsman right there put a block of wood under it and kind of like um lift it slightly to where just enough so we could get the wheels to to turn um because when i was like assembling the box trying to like you know line up all the bolt holes and stuff um the box kind of slid away from the wall slightly so obviously i want to maximize my space so we had to um get the box kind of lifted up turn the wheels um in the direction they're currently sitting and the the wheels on the back are facing the same direction by the way and then we were able to like um release a couple of the locks got in the center with our backs against the the platform the, the box itself put our backs against it um brace against it release that last lock and push and we were able to like push it up against the wall engage those locks closest to us and then go around and engage the rest of the locks um and then something i did um can't really see it Let's see if i can get a flashlight real quick without tripping uh we got a million flashlight but which one do i choose guess we'll go with this one maybe so i'm not sure if this does any justice but you can see that all the casters all the casters are pretty much facing inwards with the brakes there we go you can see that all the brakes are facing inwards um and back and forth so that's kind of the way i originally intended it to be and it actually worked out perfectly because now all the free space in between this set of casters is all like storage space and i'm going to build like pull out shelves so i can get up in there just slide the whatever i have up in there instead of just putting it on the floor and like scratching the floor so effectively i'll have i'll have one two three four five five spots to put to build like a slide out shelf basically four of them are going to be the same and then we're going to have one big one right here and that's where i'm going to store my you know my larger pieces of tools and stuff like i don't know i'll probably put hammers and stuff down there also because effectively it's going to be a pull out drawer you know additional drawer so effectively i'm giving myself five additional draw spaces um but to talk about why i uh my boxes are pretty much in disarray right now all the drawers are pretty much empty and whatever that's because <clears throat> My box was not level. It was like my floor obviously slopes outwards. And uh, when you look at it, effectively, it was, this is what it was showing. Let's try to zoom in here. Effectively, it was pretty much like that. Um, so I know that the back was higher than the front and that was pretty much how much it was off. And something of this magnitude in terms of size, you definitely don't want to get it top heavy. You definitely don't want to get it top heavy and then it tips. So basically what I did was determine how much I needed to, to level it by. And in fact, I actually did my calculations wrong because I purchased some flat steel. Um, I think they were by four by four or something which is slightly big, but they're slightly, they're one inch and it's a mix of one inch and seven eighths, but they're gonna be slightly too big because <clears throat> yeah, this just doesn't require that much space or lift on the wheels. So basically I, I found this uh, old piece of laminate flooring. Um, initially I had this, <laughs> I cut these and I was like, damn, it didn't work. Um, Cause after I, uh, after I, I emptied the two the boxes, because I was trying to jack it up initially with all the stuff in there, like all this extra stuff, I was trying to jack it up and I heard like, you know, like squeak and beep and, you know, 
stress and stuff on the box and I was like nope that's not gonna work so that's when I was like all right I'll just I'll just go through it empty it so basically what I did was just use this I was gonna use multiple jacks but then I just got a <clears throat> a piece of uh two before centered it across here and I uh, just went up under it and I jacked it up and it lifted up the entire box like all the wheels in the front came off um, and I checked level that's when I checked level and then I realized I needed a smaller piece and luckily I had this so if you look under all the wheels <clears throat> the wheels are two inch wide and I basically cut a um, just a two inch strip just a two inch piece two inch wide piece to basically put under all the casters um, I don't trust the wood so I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick up some suitable uh, metal pieces if not I'm gonna buy some 7 8 um, piece or something or half sorry it's not 7 8 about half inch pieces and they should do the job as far as making it shim level and just to have a solid piece of uh, piece of material under the caster versus um, wood that could splinter or something just when this thing gets loaded up I don't know how many how many thousands of pounds it's gonna be but it's gonna be pretty heavy so I don't want to risk um, doing that with wood so that's why all this stuff is emptied so I could lift the box with my jack here my heart rate jack um, and then fine level. So right now in its current state And I went around and checked all the boxes. That's how much I'm I'm showing as far as being level so Yeah, the front could come up slightly a little bit more just To level it out and that would be ideal um, So I'll probably end up striving. I'm gonna strive for being very much level if not biased to this side So, but right now, I do have a plan in place. I just have work that will result in me not getting anything anything, anything else done for the remainder of the week, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, once I have <laughs> whatever metal pieces I get, I plan to cut them small like these, just because I plan to you know build out those slide out drawers that I can put underneath. So I just need something for the wheels to rest on. The brakes are going to be engaged, so they're not going to go anywhere. Um, I just need something for it to rest on to, to shimmy it out, level it out. Uh, and then whatever pieces I get, I'm probably going to spray it in black just so they blend in more easily. Um, and it looks nicer. Because even if I was going to use these wooden pieces, I'd probably spray it in black just so they can, you know, blend in and not look all tacky and stuff. Which they really don't, but... It's just a little bit more nicer look. But yeah, all the wheels are, are locked. All 12 wheels are locked. <laughs> so it shouldn't go anywhere. And then lastly, the thing I want to do is um, I can tell there's a stud right here on the wall. So I'm going to put a, an eye bolt here and get some wire rope and put it on this. I mean, this is not meant to hold this entire way to toolbox, but I live in the hurricane prone area. Um, so Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to put multiple, um, I'm gonna try to put multiple of these handles on the sides of there's, I can put one right here or probably here. I'm not sure. Cause I have, I mean, this, this whole setup came with a handle for each. So I'm probably gonna put a handle and use um, multiple handles just as added safety against like, uh, you know, shaking and this thing tipping over Cause that would be a nightmare if it tipped over. Um, not to mention that the cars were in here. So I'm, I'm gonna do that on both sides of it. Um, just um, drill into the drill into the, the stud um, and use a eye bolt with some wire rope um, wrapped around a handle and just use some um, some of those clips, some of those rings to kind of attach those two and try to keep it as tight as possible so it doesn't risk moving or anything. But I think that's the best. Making it level and then adding that additional safety factor is gonna be huge. So yeah, um, 
should be able to get this thing um, up and running um, and hopefully it will be all decluttered um, cleaned up someone did make mention that the slides sound kind of rough and uh, actually it gives you a chance to look down in here it's kind of a weird color obviously it's not paint it's not painted so it's just rust you can see down in there so it's a great time to inspect the box oh if you're curious how these locks work it's these metal pieces keys it's just these metal pieces i was always wondering why it's so clunky but even then you can see like the it's not painted all the way through on those pieces so i mean it's a harbor freight um so yeah, this door is slightly sticking. You can see at the bottom. It just doesn't. So yeah, these doors, they open up that side. And then these ones, they open up opposite direction. So that, that, and um, it should be, should be good. So yeah, I just gotta adjust. You literally just tape these off. It's a lot, um, and flip it over, flip it upside, and then I'll end up flipping the keys or flipping the lock around just to make it. I don't know, just a number on there, just to make it align with everything else. So, just because that door is now flipped upward, upside down, and then same thing with this. So, see. All in all, all in all, it's uh, it's coming together well. It's just taking a little bit of time um, to get it done. And in fact, this floor was pretty much cleared out. It's just all these small pieces that I really didn't have any any uh, intent on organizing. I just kind of put stuff as it as I saw fit. Um, some of the boxes I emptied, like <laughs> I had, I did all these small ones and I took the larger, like fluids and stuff out of here. You can see the imprints, but these, I was like, I don't want to do this. So, um, my wife came out, I told her how to, um, unhitch the draw slides and, uh, we got them out. The big one at the bottom with the sockets and stuff, I'll probably end up lightening them out you know, lightening them up before I put them back in because there's no way she's going to be able to hold it up and get a double thing, double uh, double slides at the same time aligned up. So I'll probably end up lightening those up when I go to put them in. Um, and then, yeah, naturally stuff is going to get reorganized. So, but that's going to be the fun part, getting all this stuff. I have 28 of these. 28, 20, 28 of these drawers, so that's plenty. And I, if I have, if I can make it work with more, I'll probably pick up a few more um, because this definitely not maxed out. Um, but it just depends on where the larger stuff is going to go. But I think my intent, obviously, blow molded cases in the top. Um, and these are pretty deep. These are pretty deep up there, you know. Um, you got all this, all this real estate up there. <laughs> um, in fact, I'll just open it up and kind of step back and talk about it. How I'm gonna do this. Normally, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna open up all the compartments and then I'm gonna step back. <clears throat> Then I gotta find a place to put my feet over here, and then over here, and then and then try not to break stuff as I step on it. <clears throat> so yeah, um, whenever I open it up, it just like darkens the place a little bit. So it has a lot of storage space up top, um, and then even on top, I got the the mats. <clears throat> the rubber mats, so on top where you see the RC car, 
that's additional storage that I'm gonna use. So effectively I got one layer up there, second layer that's enclosed all the shelves and drawers and <clears throat> work center, got all those. And then I'm gonna have <clears throat> the slide out drawers that I'm gonna build. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna build, <clears throat> got this stupid cough. But it's gonna be four identical ones. So two on this side, two on the next side for the end lockers and then a one big one in the center. Um, I do have some low profile wheels, pretty much the same low profile wheels that that thing is built on. It's pretty much uh, four pieces that come together and basically that's a two half inch piece of ply um, on top of each other to kind of fill it out. Um, and then it just kind of slides up in there. So that's a good seeing that beside it. You can see how it looks on the floor. <clears throat> Effectively, I'll be building that same platform using those same pieces to slide up under there. So <clears throat> I'm gonna lose a little bit of space um, versus if I had just like put stuff up under there, but I think it's gonna be way more beneficial to be able to slide that stuff out. Um, and then that little flip up thing right there, that's just the brake. So um, we'll see if I, I might modify that and take it off or something, but basically once that stuff is up, once it's flipped upwards, it rests on the floor um, with some like little, I don't know what you call them. You can see it right there. Basically once that stuff is like, if you step down on it right now, it's gonna raise it up and that little piece right there is gonna come off the floor and you can adjust the height as you need. So it doesn't look like that thing is gonna impede the bottom of the toolbox when it's flipped upwards, that orange thing, like scratch it up. But it's gonna be valuable space for like heavier components like, like all those crap right there. And these pullers and chains and stuff. All that stuff can go in there. So that's my plan. Um, light stuff. And again, stuff that's not really um, needed immediately. Um, just light stuff is going to go up top. You know, might just keep it clean. I don't want to get it too cluttered, but organized. Um, leave it all nice and pretty. Then blow molded cases in there. And then whatever else in the lockers and all the stuff. I still got my Milwaukee over there and the that one right there is accessible. It was actually accessible for the first time, but now it's pretty much inaccessible. Um, so I do have a lot of storage. There's a lot of stuff on the floor, um, but at the same rate, I do have a lot of storage space that I'll be able to utilize. Um, so I know a lot. It might look crazy on the floor right now, and it certainly is, don't get me wrong. But <clears throat> once all these, uh, <coughs> once I get to organizing, which, I mean, I'll never fully organize, I guess, but my plan is to kind of source stuff as I go and make it as, you know, like collective as possible, like electrical, pliers, brakes, whatever. <coughs> Um, just so I can find them in the in one spot, and hopefully my hutch here, my work center here, will be pretty clutter free, um, for the most part. You know, some lights and some whatever magnet stuff, but it should be clutter free. But yeah, I'm gonna get some before I can load it up. I gotta get some appropriate material steel as the the shim because I'm not I don't trust the wood if it like gets splintered or stuff um i'm pretty sure it'll be fine it's pretty dense i mean it's, it's hardwood it's fake laminate but nonetheless it's pretty dense um but i rather just get something that's going to be there's an even no chance of it compressing or anything so that's the plan um and then this garage should be usable again as far as just being able to drive in there but just didn't get there yet. Just haven't gotten there yet. Gotten there yet. 
anyway, I need to go to sleep. And uh, actually, I'm going to lock these boxes up. I mean, they're empty. But I still like to just get in the habit of locking them. Um, I'm not sure if, if I necessarily will continue doing that. And all the keys, I mean, I'm just using one right now. All the keys are the same. So, we'll just leave that, leave that one up there. And we'll take this one, lock this one, and then lock this one. So yeah, everything is locked up. Granted, there's nothing in there. Everything is exposed on the floor anyway. And then I just want to make sure that this thing, yeah. so we'll at least lock it. Just so there's no risk of these like sliding out. Um, you saw this drawer earlier with a lot of paperwork in there. This was just my random go-to junk drawer. I do have a, um, where's that? There's two bags here. There's this bag. Two bags right here. There's a Makita and a DeWalt bag right here that has all the manuals and stuff for everything I have. They weren't accessible, so I just threw all those paperwork in here. But I won't necessarily have a junk drawer per se. All the drawers are going to be usable for quality stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like all that stuff is going to come out. Welding clamps and stuff i believe i showcased this this was cool <laughs> so basically this is for that little torch right there um yeah if you're gonna mount it on a wall or something it fits it securely so let's call oh that's i guess the part number and it's whatever else but yeah, that's what's been going on around here. Um, just thinking about making it good. And then it's been raining like crazy. And then I noticed water has been like seeping through, through the weather stripping. And that's because it doesn't have any type of awning or anything on the outside of this exterior hung door. So that's on my to-do list. Obviously it's not critical because actually it sheds the water really good, but the water, it was raining so heavy, it was making its way on top, even though the top of the door is like protected. It's not completely exposed, but the water was making its way underneath the, on top of the door and down the, the weather stripping, then it would drain down. But because this exterior hung door, it just drains outside. But nonetheless, um, I'm gonna get a exterior on in for the outside. I don't wanna open the door now, but an exterior on in just to keep that excessive water off the top of the doorway or limit the amount of water that gets on top of the door and then kind of makes its way in. But like I said, it's exterior hung and it just like drains down and it still drains outwards, but something I noticed, so something I'll, I'll clean up. Here's that platform. <coughs> like I was saying, so this is effectively, this is for my drill press clearly. Um, but this is Bora. Bora PM, Bora Pro Portama. I don't know how you say it. But basically you lift down, you put your foot on here and then it lifts up. Um, and then you have these set as much as you need to, um, to give you clearance. Um, so. That's basically what I want to build. Effectively, it's almost the same size as this, if I was to be honest. Because it touches the back wall. Let me focus here. It touches the back wall, as you can see. Um, so maybe, we'll see, maybe an inch. Because this, the biggest concern is this hitting my toolbox, which Clearly, it can be positioned like that. It doesn't have to be fully vertical. Uh, but when it's in the way like that, it creates like, almost like a hazard. So preferably up. So I'll play with the dimensions um, and see if this is the perfect 
platform for it. And then, like I said, <coughs> I just use uh, two pieces of um, half inch ply. I don't know if you can really see it. But yeah, two, two, um, I mean, yeah, it looks like half. It doesn't look like three quarter. Um, two sheets of ply sandwiched together just so I could hold this, the weight of this thing and it didn't like flex or anything. Um, so it's just sandwiched together. And I kind of wanted it to have this like as flushed as possible, but it doesn't matter. You can just bolt it down. One sheet will do. Um, so probably I do have um, some ply outside, so I'm not even gonna buy anything else. I'm just gonna use what I have. And again, these are gonna be so small, you know, <laughs> at least the, the, the four that's gonna go under the lockers are gonna be small. The one that goes under this big one, I might just double up because the span between the, the wheels are gonna be so long. I don't want it to like sag in the center from me putting stuff in there. Um, like suspension parts or suspension tools. So effectively, I'll be building a platform like this um, to put stuff on. And then I'm just gonna, I wanted to create like a little lip on the edges just so stuff doesn't, doesn't fall off. So um, I think I've already figured out a way to do that. Um, like just bolt it on the side right here where there's some some wood and just kind of trim it so it comes up it forms like an l and just the rest of it just sits up here and then it drops down and continue comes up and goes continues if that makes sense it's just woodworking I'm talking about i'm just looking because i want to create i don't want it to just be a flat surface where stuff can roll off to the side i wanted to have at least a little lip on the side so it can um retain stuff from rolling off or falling off and whatever under the box. But this, I mean, if you look at the size of this platform um, and how how much space I'm gonna have up under here, that's plenty of space. So, <laughs> um, I might have to leave, I don't know, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my jacks, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. I should be able to find space for these. So I'm not even concerned about leaving my jacks here. Um, as their permanent rest in place. Because right now they fit perfectly up under there, but I think that space is more beneficial to something else. Anyway, ideas. Um, we'll see. All right. This is it. That's me always say. Like on a hate routine.